Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, and we are pleased to be joined by Sage Karam. Of course, it was announced last week that he would be going to Alpha Prime Racing. Um, how's it going, man? It's going well. You know, uh, like you said, you know, we had the uh, the announcement with Alpha Prime Racing last week. So it's exciting stuff for sure, you know, to keep the momentum going of what we had last year, doing some more racing for me and, and uh, you know, taking on the challenge of the whole stock car world, learning that and applying some of the things I learned last year. And um, I'm just really excited and, and, you know, eager to get going. And, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm excited to get down to Charlotte and meet all the guys at Alpha Prime Racing, you know, and uh, it should be a lot of fun this year. Absolutely. You know, when you're looking into all, when you look, when you look into the NASCAR Xfinity series, I know you wanted to do some more NASCAR stuff. What, what intrigued you about Alpha Prime Racing? What, uh, what kind of sold you with what, what uh, Caesar and Tommy Joe were doing? Yeah. So, you know, Tommy Joe got in contact with um, my manager, Rolando at Shelby park and the deal came together super quickly. Like I, I don't think I've ever seen a racing deal come together as quick as it did. I, I want to say it was less than 48 hours from start to finish. We got the deal done. So um, it was, it was kind of like out of nowhere and, you know, uh, Rolando called me and was just like, Hey, I just had this really interesting meeting with Tommy. Um, let me know what you think. And he started running through all these scenarios and, and stuff that they spoke about and the races that we would potentially be able to do and the direction that Tommy was taking that program. Um, and it, it just seemed like a pretty, pretty perfect fit for me. Uh, you know, especially with where I am, you know, in my career in Xfinity, you know, I think for me, it's, it's learning as much as I can and, and trying to learn as many tracks as I possibly can. And for me, I think seat time is the most valuable thing at, at the moment. So, um, you know, Tommy was very excited to, to get me on board and, you know, I'm going to some new tracks that I've never been to, you know, there's some things I need to check off the checklist and those are like super speedways and mile and a half stuff like that. And then, you know, I'll definitely also be going to like some of my strengths, like road courses and, and some of the short ovals that I've done before. So um, it's a pretty cool schedule we got. Uh, the team is um, taking it really serious. You know, I, they're going to have two cars this year, so they're expanding. Um, and both cars are going to, you know, have very similar, I mean, pretty much the exact same stuff. So, you know, that's pretty rare when, when you go to some of these teams, you know, some cars have better stuff on it than the other car, you know, even though they're the same organization, you know, things can be a bit different, but, you know, Tommy's doing a great job with uh, making sure everybody's got the proper equipment. And um, of course, as you know, do you know, and as you kind of told me, you'd be in the 45 car, correct? For the race. Yeah. 45 car. Okay. Um, also, like, what what kind of tracks do you think that have you been told what you are running? Like, what tracks that you are going to go to? Yeah, so my first race, I'll be starting off in Atlanta on uh, March nineteenth, um, and then you know, I, I I think for me, the way we were going through the schedule, it was like, hey, what tracks do you like? Um, what tracks would you not mind going to? Like, wanting to try, and what tracks do you think you'd want to stay away from? So. Um, I kind of like put a little list together and, you know, I definitely put on some of the, the road course stuff, um, you know, especially like Indy and the Roval since I've been there already and done that. Um, I would like to go back to those. So I think I'll do those again. I'd love to go do Coda. I don't think I'd be doing road America. I think that one was already taken, but um, you know, other tracks um, you know, like Martinsville, I think is on there. I want to say Pocono, which is like my hometown race. I haven't been to Pocono in a while. I wanted to do that one. And, um, you know, we're still kind of finalizing some bits and pieces, but there's going to be a variety of everything, you know, from short tracks, to super speedways, mile and a half, road courses. Um, so I'm going to get, you know, a little bit of everything. And, and I feel like this year I'll have a better under at the end of this year, I'll have a better understanding of exactly where I kind of stand and match up and, you know, where I need to work you know, and, and just like, what are my weaknesses? What are my strengths and things I need to work harder at to, to get better at, you know, there's going to be tracks that I go to that aren't going to mesh well with me. And, and those are things I'm going to have to learn. Like last year, I think Phoenix was probably the hardest track for me to learn. I think that was the first time in the Xfinity car 
that I kind of felt my formula car habits, um, being at a disadvantage, you know? So, um, I think I'll be going back there at the end of the season. Um, so, you know, just going back there and, and having a year under your belt with, um, understanding that place and, and stuff, it'd be interesting to see how, you know, round two for me goes there. So let's talk about uh, your, uh, I know you're also going to do some IndyCar stuff as well. You, you, it was just confirmed a few weeks about a la- last month, you're going to run the Indy 500 for, for the dry Reinbold team. Um, in terms of IndyCar, is it just the Indy 500 or are you kind of focusing more on NASCAR this year? Yeah, it's just the Indy 500. Dryon Reinbold usually just has an Indy 500 program. Uh, they've also expanded to two cars this year from one last year. Yeah. So I'll have uh, Santino Ferrucci as my teammate. He's run some Xfinity this past year as well. So um, we're kind of doing the same stuff. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, that would be exciting to get a teammate at Indy. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's just the Indy 500. I think, you know, obviously that is a huge focus of mine to go to that race and and do my absolute best to win that. That's uh, probably my biggest goal in life is to win that race. Um, but as far as full-time racing is concerned and, and going to do more racing, um, I'm definitely putting more energy and, and more time and just investing more of myself into the NASCAR route as opposed to, you know, trying to get full-time in IndyCar nowadays. Yeah. And I know you're also, you've also been busy this off season. It's been a, it's been a busy year for you uh, just overall. Of course, you got married last year. Um, and of course, uh, you're also helping your dad coach uh, the Eastern Res- Eastern high school wrestling team out in Pennsylvania. They just recently were, were, I think it was, I don't know if it was your dad's house or your house, but they were, I think he had all the wrestlers over or something. Yeah, he does a, he does like a breakfast lunch kind of thing for all the wrestlers every year. And we go over to my parents' house and make some food and, and I'll hang out. So it's like the one time a year he actually allows them to get nice and fat, you know, usually in the wrestling world where we're, you know, cutting weight and, and stuff. So it's usually after the holiday and then we, we get into hard training after that, but yeah, the wrestling has been keeping, keeping me busy. You know, I really enjoy going in there and working with the kids and, it's a really good workout for me as well. So, um, you know, I've wrestled my whole life. I wrestled for Nazareth when I was, um, growing up since I was four years old, all the way through high school. We actually wrestle Nazareth tonight. So that'll be fun. (laughs) That's, that's actually kind of funny. Um, And it's alumni night. So (laughs) (laughs) we cheer for that. (laughs) I got to cheer for my guys right now. You know, I, when I was wrestling for Nazareth, that was cool. And and I really enjoyed it. And Nazareth will always have a special place in my heart, but right now I'm full Eastern red Rovers. Yep. That's, 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 that's pretty cool. Always good to see always good helping, seeing, helping your dad out with that team. So, all right, Sage Karam, thank you so much. Congratulations on the deal with Alpha Prime Racing. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Thank you. Hope to uh, have a strong year and uh, hope I can come back on here and talk about some great success from the year. Oh, for sure.